Hey everybody, Charlie Houck, Growth Dynamics, another episode of Fast Tip Friday. Hey, um, look, I've been in this business for 35 years on the coaching and training side. I spent um, the better part of 15 years prior to that when I was started at about 14 or 15, uh, selling my, um, my lawn care cutting neighbors' lawns, doing work for my mom's real estate office. I used to hustle bags down at Westchester University when uh, students were moving in and old men couldn't carry their kids' luggage up to the seventh floor of Goshen Hall. Don't worry about the details, it's all true. But um, I've always been in business development. I've always been in the business of asking people to make a decision to do business with me. And what I learned along the way was what I believed about business development and what really mattered about business development weren't necessarily in sync. And, and so my topic today is that in a lot of cases, if you're a professional in the business development arena, don't perpetuate your own misery. And frankly, the behaviors and practices and beliefs that a lot of people in business development apply day to day don't do a whole lot more than perpetuate the misery that makes this one of the toughest jobs anyone could ever have. So some of the things that I think we all have to be aware of is um, getting people excited isn't necessarily going to turn them into best customers. Talking about money is critical. And thinking if you tell them all kinds of great things, they won't think about money is foolish. If you don't know how to schedule and manage a process, the schedule and management of your life is going to be done by someone else that doesn't have your best interests at heart. If you do the things that people don't like about salespeople, you're going to make life miserable when you don't want it to be miserable. The number one complaint business to business people have about working with salespeople is they don't bring value and they waste my time. And if you can't structure a process that creates a high value conversation with a commitment to a decision and a time frame that both people can be working on, you're probably doing a lot of the things that um, exist because your best sales strategy is hoping that you get the deal. So. I'm saying to you a pretty simple concept. Stop doing the things that you've been told are business development appropriate and start doing the things that are business conversation applicable and um, effective. Uh, I interviewed somebody recently who said uh, ABC was key to, to success in business development. Always be closing. And if there's one thing that drives a lot of people nuts, it's that a, a business development person comes in and thinks their job is to get a decision from you right after you say hello. It's your, their job to get you excited about that. And if they get you excited enough, you'll forget about the money and just sign the purchase order. So look, find out what really matters in business development. Become customer focused, not salesperson focused. Become buyer centric, not seller centric in your approach to success and change your attitude about what it means to be a business development professional, not a sales amateur. So it's a fine line, but on one side is success, consistency, a career, and on the other side is frustration, aggravation, a job, and maybe not the life you thought you were going to have when you stepped into that role. So get your head adjusted. Stop being a salesperson. Be a business development professional and watch the difference happen right before your eyes. Thanks for listening and watching. Take care. Have a great weekend and have a great week next week.